This is a this is a screencast on how to describe the purpose and parts of a pie graph. Now just below the heading there you can see a pie graph. Here it is right here. Now what makes a pie graph a pie graph is the one that looks like a pie in the sense that it's a circle. And the best thing about a pie graph it's really good for displaying data that's a percentage or you want to see how the different parts what percentage of it makes the whole. Um, and so we're going to explore the parts here, but whenever you see one of these round graphs, it will be a pie graph. So let's look at an example and look at the parts together. So if you see if here in front of you, we have the pie graph. Title explains what the graph is about. In this case, it's birthday wishes by channel. Okay. Then they will come along with a key usually. Some of the times they don't and we'll look at the next couple of examples of that. Now all the key does is explain what the different colours mean. So you can see on this graph that red here which represents email is here. Facebook which is here is in dark blue so it's rather large. And so when interpreting these, all you need to do is to use the key and the colours to figure out which is the most. Now you'll be asked questions like this, uh, which has the most birthday wishes? And you can see Facebook is clearly the winner because it has the biggest part of the pie. Or something like email, which is in here, this red part, or Skype, is very very little amount, but it's Twitter. The other questions you might be asked is what percentage of Facebook, for instance, has been used. Now you actually can't tell because there's no percentage here, but you do know that it's more than half, so it's more than 50%. Mm -hmm. Judging by this, I would go for probably something around the 60-70% mark. Anyway, let's look at another example. On this example, you can see there's no key. Again, we have a title at the top here, but rather than going for a key this time, they've actually just labelled and they've actually put the percentage down for you. Now with percentages, they will always equal up to 100. But this is another way to display the data. So comedy is this one here, action is this one here, etc. So you might get asked which is the least amount of type, favourite type of movie, in this case it's a drama, or which was the, what's the most popular, it's romance with 30%. Let's look at another example. This one here is different again, but the same things apply. Title, the top, explain what the graph's about. And this time they've actually laid the wood inside the pie, rather than rather than having a key or labelling them outside. And so this is quite easy for us to look at and determine what the percentages are and which is the biggest one which you can quite easily see is food.